What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another jailbreak update video. Unfortunately, I did have to update the 10s Max finally to iOS 13. Uh, I did get a Apple Watch Series 5 for Christmas, which did require me to finally update. Uh, and it's unfortunate, but it's still worth it in my opinion. I had that jailbreak, or I was on iOS 12. 0 for such a long time I was on that firmware for uh, over a year jailbroken with the uncovered jailbreak which is pretty insane considering you know how many tweaks and stuff I've gone through I've actually restored this device multiple times on iOS 12.0 uh, and it's pretty insane like I said to stay on a firmware uh, that low for that long but I finally did have to update I'm totally okay with it I still got the uh, 7 plus there which is jailbreakable forever with the check rain jailbreak. And I just want to update you guys on basically what's going on in the world of jailbreaking. So if you guys have an iPhone 10 or older, of course, you can forever jailbreak that device with check rain. If you guys need to see how to jailbreak with check rain, I will leave the video link for that down in the description. But for those of you that have a newer device like myself, the 10s or an iPhone 11, uh, there is hope if we hop into Twitter here. I did tweet this out a little while ago. There is a video that surfaced of a uh, a basically a TFP0 bug that is on iOS 13.3, as you guys can see there. So there is a vulnerability uh, that could possibly be used for um, Chimera or Uncover to be updated to support iOS 13, which is seriously exciting. I would highly recommend you guys, if, if any of you have the newer devices and you're on um, iOS 13, to stay on 13.3 or lower if possible. So uh, basically block your updates. Do not update at this point anymore. Like I said, there is a bug that is present in 13.3, which Apple will probably patch with their next update. Uh, so highly recommend you guys to stay on 13.3. Like I said... The jailbreaks could be updated for this version which is seriously awesome so that's basically what I'm gonna be doing on my 10s max here is I will stay on 13.3 um, until this bug is released and like I said it could be used uh, to update those two jailbreaks to support the newer devices on the newer firmwares which is seriously awesome as you guys can see there is my 10s max on 13.3 so that's what I recommend you guys to do. If you're on a lower version of iOS 13, of course, stay there. It's always best to stay on the lowest firmware possible, and that's what I recommend you guys to do. But uh, just a quick jailbreak update. Of course, anything, like I said, 10, iPhone 10 and older can always be jailbroken. Again, the video link for my jailbreak tutorials in the, uh, the description down there. And also for the newer devices, again, like I said, stay on 13.3. I cannot stress that enough we will probably see the jailbreaks being updated for that firmware. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later!